Hi guys, it's ASBYT and this laptop right here is very interesting because it's got some great features but doesn't cost an arm and a leg. It might even be the best budget laptop that you can buy right now in 2020. Whether you're a student or you travel a lot and need the portability or you just simply want a decent laptop and don't want to spend thousands, then this might be perfect for you. So let's see exactly what it is, run through some of the key features, talk about what's good and what could possibly be improved. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. So this here is the Teclas F6 Plus, and it's a very new budget laptop that is pretty impressive. Now there's no two ways about it design-wise, it's certainly a kind of MacBook clone, but they are very popular and it's a lot less money. It's pretty lightweight and the size makes it a great option for throwing in a case or a rucksack. So certainly an option for students, working professionals, or even if you just travel a bit and want a portable laptop. I wish the bezels were slightly smaller to be honest, but that won't really bother some of you. The display is 1080p and it's 13.3 inches in size. And it's not completely flush, there is a bit of a gap, but it's decent enough for the price and there's not too much light bleeding. Brightness is just okay, completely fine for indoor use, but outside, it will be doable, but it's not ideal. The keyboard is actually better than I was expecting. I, I wish it was backlit to be honest, but there's a nice amount of travel without being too far and comfortable to use. I'd have to say again, whilst not as good as my 16 inch MacBook Pro keyboard, it's, it's not too far off, again, considering how much cheaper it is. So during my typing sessions, I've not really had any missed keys, I've not had to retype anything, but that unfortunately can't be said for the trackpad. I have noticed a few times the tap to select function isn't quite as responsive as I would like, meaning the occasional need to tap again is necessary. Considering it's a pretty budget product, do I let Teclas off for that? I'm, I'm not so sure. Taking that away though, the left and right clicks are reassuringly punchy and reliable, something I haven't really seen in this price bracket. Now, one of the great things about this laptop is it also passes as a Windows tablet due to its fully rotational keyboard. And the touchscreen works in tablet mode and also when you've just got it set up as a laptop. So this is specifically great if you're going into a meeting, for example, and you want to convert your laptop into tablet mode to show people certain PowerPoints by flipping the keyboard all the way around. Or you can kind of go three quarters of the way and have it as like a stand. And this is also great if you want to watch movies, for example, or a dinner plate. If you want to... No? Don't think Teclas would recommend you do that with it. Now the touchscreen on the whole works pretty well, it's pretty responsive and accurate. And I also like how the software changes to adapt to tablet mode when it senses the keyboard has been flipped. Now one of the downsides is there is a noticeable wobble to the laptop when using the touchscreen, which to be honest is fairly standard with this style of product. But outside of that, the hinge feels pretty sturdy and certainly not cheap. Now would I personally use this in kind of a tablet mode? Not a lot of the time. And that's mainly due to the fact that I just feel a bit weird having keys under my fingers when I'm holding it as a tablet and it's quite cumbersome as well. It's a little bit heavy for tablet mood. Mo mo yeah, that one. And that is probably largely down to the fact we do have an aluminium alloy body. So looks and feels more premium, but is a bit heavier than a plastic. You can also buy a stylus for it, although I haven't tested it, so I can't really give you any information on that. So under the hood, it's rocking the Intel Gemini Lake N4100 and the Intel 9th generation UHD Graphics 600 GPU. It's running Windows 10. We've got eight gigabytes of LDDR4 RAM. It also comes standard with a 256 gigabyte SSD. If you did want to upgrade it yourself, you can actually here uh, by unscrewing this section and popping it in. Now, another really nice addition is the fact that it comes with a wireless mouse. You simply plug in the dongle and you turn it on and you're good to go. It, it's not the best mouse, but it, it's certainly a nice touch. Now, as well as the USB type A port you've just seen, there's also one type C port, a micro HDMI port, a power button, micro SD port, another type A, a headphone jack, and a charging port. Now, first thing to point out is, unfortunately, the power button placement on here is it's pretty awful, really. I found a few times when holding or moving the laptop slightly, I've accidentally pressed the button turning off the screen, which is a little bit annoying to say the least. I really would love to ask Teclas why they've done this. Also, the decision to have a standalone charging port and a Type-C port is a strange one, as the laptop also charges via the Type-C port. So I'm not sure why they didn't just have two Type-C ports and do away with that needless power port. 
Techless claim that you get between six and seven hours of battery life for normal everyday tasks like browsing the internet and emails, etc. If you're gonna be gaming or photo and video editing, which I probably wouldn't buy this for anyway, then the battery is gonna run down a lot quicker. Now it does get slightly warm on the left hand side of the palm rest and keyboard. It doesn't really bother me. And outside of that, it's pretty decent in terms of thermals. You also can't open it with one hand. Like it's, it's, it's definitely a two handed majobby. Majobby, what's that? Some people are desperate to have a laptop that opens just with one hand. It's two with this. It's a bit heavy on the top because it's a tablet basically. Now we do have a front webcam on here, but it's, it's pretty poop considering it's 2020, but a lot of laptops still, even the latest MacBook Pro has a 720p camera in 2020. I don't understand why laptop manufacturers keep doing this and it makes me want to just hit my head with it. Now, another potential negative is that there is no fingerprint scanner for that extra security and payments, for example, but you may not see that as a massive biggie. We've got okay speakers. They're certainly not perfect, but up facing and fairly loud. And here's a quick sample. What we get, let's get straight to it. So all in all, the Techless F6 Plus is a pretty amazing budget camera in 2020. Budget camera. Of course, we have a few things that could be improved, but overall, very, very impressed. I have plenty more laptop videos coming this year, as well as content on all areas of tech. If you wanna see those videos, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, you turn on the notification bell so that when I post, you're notified. Like and share if you found this video helpful and enjoyed it. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Says BYT, peace out. Ah!